All right, so speaking with Nim Kalaza. The best surfacer is a dead surfacer. <laughs> I didn't see you approach. My failing eyes shall net me a blade in my back soon enough, I swear it. Should be at home, dying properly like an old male drow, rather than here listening to tales so often. Yeah, I just realized we never got to ask any questions before uh, the other one was murdered. Yeah, I kind of want to hear, uh, again, more, I guess, drow lore. I have many tales of my past, but I've told them so often, I do not care to repeat my words. Let the younger drow boast and beat their chests as they wish. But I think it's dangerous to ask about questions. Or ask questions. Look at this. You can ask about uh, Fayer or the Drow Commander. Yeah, it sounds dangerous to ask about Loth. House Despana. I don't think we've even heard of that. So, probably won't ask about it unless we hear about it somewhere else, maybe. Alright. Not sure he's going to speak freely if they're an earshot, asking about the eldest daughter and the drow commander. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, the daughter of House Despana. So, Fayer Despana. Okay, and her mother, Argulus Despana. There is a history there if you have not heard it from elsewhere. It is said that the daughter Fayer held this salifying in high esteem once, and not merely as a personal male as Loth decrees. She did not use him and cast him off as is a female's want. It is said that Fair had feelings for the commander that were most undrow-like indeed. The matron mother of the Despana was greatly displeased by her daughter's weakness. What was done then, who knows? It is obvious they hold no regard for each other now. Indeed, the commander would be a drider were it not for his position and favor in another house of great rank. It's interesting. Certainly not going to bring up dragons. Don't want to <laughs> give anything away about Adelon. Ask about the uh, House Despana, then. A strong house, branches of which you'll find in cities other than simply Usnatha. Many say it schemes to place itself above all others here. I know little of such plans, however. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, what Fair wants us to do is involved with that. Putting uh, House Despana ahead somehow. Alright. It's interesting. What? All right, here's Barag. What? I am yours to command. Do not question the matron mothers. All right, sounds like maybe another tale teller. We're telling tales, female, of our feats in history. It's an old custom of Usnatha, something you would be unfamiliar with, the Sadran. All right, so asking of uh, some history. Something of the city's history, huh? I suppose you would know nothing of it, ignorant lout. I suppose he's uh, addressing the Coney that way. Do you even know the part Usnatha played in the scattering? Are you completely devoid of sense? Your house mother should be flayed alive for her neglect of your instruction. When the magical battles caused the collapse of Baron and Den, the great cavern once held by the dwarves, most drow were crushed. Only the favored survived. Groups of drow fled the rubble in every direction, seeking new holes to establish their power, set upon by enemies. That was the scattering, fool. <laughs> Osnatha was untouched by the great war, and hordes of drow came to our walls for protection. 
devourers and eye tyrants followed, seeking to eradicate them. So I guess that's why uh, they have a history of hatred between them then. For one century, our enemies waged constant war upon us. Many of the drow then left Osnatha to find larger living spaces, establishing your beloved Ched Nassad, among other places. There would be no Ched Nassad were it not for the walls of Osnatha. That is the part Osnatha played in the scattering. Do not forget it. I think after, uh, with his tone, she doesn't want to hear about his own feats. <laughs> Curse, uh, what we're able to ask. If you want to ask insipid questions, go bother somebody else. You know what? I think, actually, Raconi's going to ask about his personal feats. See if uh, she has an opportunity to insult him. Do not question the matron mothers. I've slaughtered many in my time, female. So do not ask such a question as if I have not. I am as battle-hardened as any in the fighter societies. I took part in a glorious running 100 years ago when a cavern leading to the surface was found. I helped raid the communities during the hunt. Alright, so they call it a running, I guess, a raid on the surface. I stumbled into a village of the subrace known as Halflings. The diminutive worms scattered. I hunted them all. I had their tiny skulls to this day. <laughs> The running lasted a week before the humans marshaled their defenses. I guess they collapsed the tunnel. But one day we shall find another, and I pray to again be amongst the drow who will take part in the running. Alright. I guess uh, it was probably a good thing that Mazzy didn't hear that. Yes? <laughs> Shaw guides my hand. Yeah, I thought there might have been an opportunity for her to question his courage. <laughs> Alright, here's a uh, Ilmarin. To walk apart from house and queens, to walk into the grave. Greetings to you, female. You were one who was recently from Chednasad, correct? I've heard of you. It's interesting. We drow gather to tell tales of our conquests on the surface, or dark stories of our past. There's tradition at Osnatha. This place that was the first. Well, I think we understand the history of why it's called the first. Asking if he has any tales. I have few accomplishments yet, female. I completed the blooding but a year ago, when I made a long voyage to the surface with two brothers. So we had the running, which was a raid, and now he's talking about a blooding. Which sounds also like a expedition to the surface. It is a blinding and foul place, the surface. My brothers and I found one of the surface elves, however, a female, pale and delightful to look upon. She was almost too easily slaughtered. We were hunted by elven patrols and my brothers were murdered, but I carried the head of the female back to the Underdark. It was considered a fine trophy for a blooding. My matron was pleased and has sponsored my entry into the Male Fighter Society next year. <laughs> Good. So I guess a blooding is uh, maybe their rite of initiation, their first slaughter. That's what it sounds like. Alright, has no other tales. What is it? And here is a uh, Zordrin. Victory shall. Victory for the Spider Queen. Greetings, lovely female. I am Zordrin, the manager of the Fighting Pit. Here we are. <laughs> Entertainment for us all and a chance to gain Loth's favor. I was hoping to gain a bit of coin, maybe. You seem a hardy type. Obviously, talking to Viconia, there are several dread beasts that have been captured and await your death blow if you dare. You are Nasadrin, yes? Recently arrived? I have heard of you. 
There are many here who would desire to see if you fight as well as they say. Of course, if you're pale and cowardly, you need not make the attempt. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, asking what's involved then. So, I thought we'd be able to place a bet, but obviously not. So somebody would have to actually fight. Alright, asking if that's really what's involved. I open the door for a short time. You enter before I close it. Once inside, I have the beast pushed in to fight you. If you win, you come out and collect 250 gold as a reward. And the satisfaction of a glorious battle. You lose the slave feast on your remains. Alright, asking what kind of... That's not a lot of gold. But it could be a scaled uh, event. Maybe uh, it scales up the longer you go. That's a possibility. Asking what other sorts of uh, beasts it would be. There's that term again. Shark fiends, devourers, and eye tyrants. Oh, okay. Shark fiends must be a reference to the Kuatoan. It's an interesting nickname. Depends on who survives longest, really. Eye tyrants. Man. Alright, this is a possibility. And it might be something uh, Viconia might be interested in, <laughs> just with her drow heritage. So I guess that's that's what this is about. Alright, this pit. It's interesting. What? Jacques. See what's on the table here. What? I don't believe that there was anybody, uh, I think we've already looked here, right? But there are these pavilions in the back as if there were going to be traders, but they're empty. I guess they're tables. I think there was somebody here. Oh, and stairs up. Yes, Abel. All right, speaking with Sandal. To walk apart from house and queen is to walk into the grave. I trust that you have come to my dueling arena because you are tired of seeing pitiful monsters put to death in the name of sport. A well-respected female such as yourself will know that the only opponent worthy of the drought is another drow. I provide the opportunity. The current match is just beginning. It will be an inspiring display of skill on the part of our most illustrious competitor. I think we'll at least watch. Excellent. I will signal the combatants and have them commence their efforts. It will be a grand show. I guess he's talking to the audience. If I might have everyone's attention, if I may, with the permissions of our most distinguished females and the interest of our most hardy males, why not draw your attentions to the pit at the fore? The pride of the males of the first house, Master of Blades Lazanor, is here to prove his ability to us all. He has accepted an unusual challenge. Four members of the Male Fighter Society have answered a slanderous comment with demands for blood. Lazonar has shown his contempt by facing them all at once. Alright, so one against four. Watch now, and all concerned will place their lives in the pit, and their fates in their blades. As always, the victor may lay claim to all of the vanquished equipment. Alright, so... Lily's unable to bet, but I guess a victor against the monsters will earn coin directly, and a victor here, if we were to participate, would t get the equipment of the combatant. That's interesting, so that's th that would be the payment, which could even be worth more. 